Hi, I'm Cam, National Training Manager at Caboodle Kitchen. In today's masterclass, we're going to go back to basics and get you prepped to tackle a kitchen renovation. We know the kitchen is the heart of the home, and at Caboodle, we want everyone to be able to enjoy spending time in this space, but we understand it can be a daunting task when you think about updating. There is a lot to consider. Today, we'll be covering how to make a plan, set a budget, timeline, measure, find inspiration, and also start designing. We want to take some of the mystery out of renovating and empower you to create your kitchen your way. Every renovation needs to start with a plan. We encourage you to think about what aspects of your renovation you want to do yourself and what you may need help with. You can DIY most of the process, some of it, or none of it. This will depend on your budget, time frame, and skill level. Once you have determined how much you will do yourself, it's a good idea to put together a budget. It's important that you understand your spending capabilities prior to undertaking your kitchen project so you can plan accordingly. To give you an overview of where your budget will be used in the kitchen renovation process, you can generally expect that costs will come under these categories. Design fees, cabinetry, doors and panels, hardware, bench tops, appliances, installation, and trades for the plumbing and electrical work required. Other budget considerations that extend beyond the kitchen are flooring, walls, ceilings, doors and windows, and lighting. Preparing a budget gives you the opportunity to determine your cost allocation and establish where you might be able to save some money. Remember to keep a portion of your budget aside for any unforeseen costs or circumstances. To assist with your budget, the Caboodle 3D Planner generates an estimated cost based on products and materials you select for your design, but we'll talk more about the planner later. After you've completed your budget, you'll need to put together a rough timeline to plan your kitchen renovation. For example, do you want to complete your renovation by a certain date or in time for a special event? Planning ahead will make your renovation run a lot smoother. You will also need to plan for unexpected events that can disrupt your timeline. Life can throw a few curveballs, so factor in some extra time to account for this. Here is a rough guide to follow when putting together a kitchen renovation timeline. Measure your kitchen. Collect inspiration once you understand the size of your space. Work out your budget and get a quote. Sort out appliances. Complete your design. Arrange delivery. Work out how you'll live without a kitchen. Organise a skip bin. Remove your old kitchen. Install your new kitchen. And lastly, invite your friends and family over to enjoy your new space. Once you've determined your timeline and budget, you'll need to understand the space you're working with so you can maximise the functionality of your new kitchen. Have you heard the saying, measure twice, cut once? That applies here too. We always recommend measuring your kitchen space multiple times to ensure there are no issues during the design process. Your tape measure will be your trusty friend when measuring the kitchen space. Make sure you own a good tape measure and know how to read it. Manual tape measures are great, but for keen DIYers, digital measuring tools are a possible alternative. It sounds obvious, but make sure you record your measurements correctly. Don't try to remember them. Using a notebook is good, or create a note on your smartphone. If you have access to a printer, you can download and print our planning grid for recording your measurements. This will assist to record your kitchen layout and measurements accurately. Remember, you are not measuring your current cabinets and bench tops. These will eventually be replaced. So just stay focused on the space itself. When measuring the distance to doors and windows, always measure to the outside of the architraves. These are the frames around your doorways and windows, which need to be taken into consideration. Whether you're getting new appliances or using your existing ones, make sure you have your appliance dimensions. Better yet, take note of the model numbers, which will be helpful to look up dimensions or other details. With all appliances, it's important to consult the manufacturer's specifications to ensure adequate clearances are allowed between cabinets and appliances. If you're seeking design advice, have some photos of your existing kitchen handy this will provide context and clarity to the space and will highlight if any further measurements are required. For base cabinets, measure along the floor and also take a measurement at the approximate benchtop height of 900mm. 
For wall cabinets, measure the space at 1500 millimeters and 2200 millimeters. These heights represent the approximate bottom and top of the wall cabinets. This will show whether there are any discrepancies in the lean angles of the walls. Where possible, measure along the wall, then take another measurement 600 millimeters off the wall to check for variations. If they're not square, filler panels can be used to accommodate the discrepancy. Our Caboodle renovation guide has a great diagram to help you make sure you get every measurement you need. After you've measured your space and are confident your dimensions are accurate, you can start looking for inspiration. You can look at magazines, websites, Instagram and Pinterest, or go to your nearest Bunnings store to check out the kitchen displays in person. Also check out the Inspiration Gallery on Caboodle's website at caboodle.com.au and check out Caboodle's Instagram. When forming your style preferences, consider how the kitchen style will work with the decor around the rest of your home. A simple way to achieve a designer look is to integrate a cohesive theme throughout your home. This can be as simple as using the same door profile or handles for cabinetry in your kitchen, laundry, bathroom, and even your living space. We also recommend writing a kitchen wish list when thinking about how you will use your kitchen. Are you a regular entertainer? Perhaps a big island bench can act as a central meeting point. Do you love baking? Maybe two ovens will suit you. This wish list is important so you have a direction for your design. Caboodle also have a range of customizable products that allow you to adjust selected cabinets, giving you the opportunity to maximize the storage in your kitchen and create your ideal layout. Once you have your measurements, budget, and idea of how you would like your space to look, you can get to work on the design. We have a convenient design tool called the Caboodle 3D Planner that you can access online. This software is free of charge and will bring your dream kitchen to life. To get you started on the 3D Planner, we have tutorial videos available that walk you through how the planner works. This means getting started is really simple. The 3D Planner features our full range of door colors and profiles, bench tops, and accessories, giving you the chance to select and visualize your favorite combinations to create the exact style you've been looking for. It also allows you to replicate the room you'll be working in. You can add walls, doors, windows, lights, furniture, and appliances so you can get a true representation of what your completed space will look like. As you design, you will see an item list calculating all the Caboodle components in your plan. It's important to note that this is a guided estimate only. Before purchasing everything on your list, make sure you head into your local Bunnings to finalize your order with a kitchen expert. Bunnings also offer design consultations in store or in your home. The in-store service is great if you already have your measurements and just need help designing your space. The in-home service is where a Bunnings design specialist will visit your home, measure the space, and will design the kitchen with your input. If you want to book a consultation, you can do this on Bunnings website or visit the special orders desk in store. Now that you know how to get started, head over to caboodle.com.au to gain access to a ton of helpful resources and tips so you can start planning your kitchen your way. Thanks for tuning in. We hope this short masterclass has empowered you to get planning today.